Did I make it? Did I make it? Okay, I made it. Cool. Hello everybody, I'm Maddie, and welcome back to The Wire Barn. Today, we're gonna be talking about GPT and GXL and TXL wire and everything you need to know about them before using them. Also, if you didn't check our last video about comparing GXL and TXL wire, make sure you go check that out. That way you have everything you need to know about GXL and TXL wire. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. First of all, you're probably wondering, what the heck is GPT wire? Well, let's start with what GPT stands for. GPT stands for General Purpose Thermoplastic, and the wire is considered to be General Purpose PVC Insulated Wire. It's also known as Primary Wire or Hookup Wire. While it's not as robust of a wire as a cross-link polyethylene wire, like GXL and TXL, it is used in many applications, such as automotive. However, most vehicle wiring today surpassed the specifications of GPT wire due to technological improvements in recent years. GPT wire is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs moisture over time. This makes it less suitable for many applications when compared to a cross-link wire like GXL and TXL. While it was much more widely used in the 80s, GPT wire is considered a El Cheapo wire. Some of the PVC wire out there only has a temperature rating of 60 degrees Celsius, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not more than a hot cup of coffee. This is the kind of wire that big box automotive stores tend to sell. It melts easily during soldering, which can be an issue when splicing into harnesses. Now that we know a little bit about GPT wire, let's get into talking about the similarities between the GPT and GXL and TXL wire. All three wires are low voltage wire types, which have 60 VDC and 25 VAC, max. They also all have multi-stranded copper conductors. All three wires have good chemical resistance properties and are resistant to most automotive fluids. They all meet the SAE J1128 specification and can all be bent around a fairly tight radius. But for extremely tight curves, TXL wire would be the winner. Now let's go ahead and talk about the differences between the wires. The TXL wire has a much thinner insulation which is up to 25% smaller in diameter, which can help when building automotive connectors. The larger GPT wire often will not fit inside many of the newer plastic housings once the terminal is crimped onto the wire. GXL and TXL wire are lighter than GPT wire per foot. GPT wire can absorb moisture over time, and this can be a problem in humid or moist environments. And lastly, GPT wire has a much wider temperature than GXL and TXL. GPT stands at negative 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, and GXL and TXL wires at negative 51 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Now that we know the similarities and differences between the wires, let's go over why you should choose one over the other. Let's start with GXL and TXL wire over GPT wire. For starters, GXL and TXL wire have more abrasion resistance than GPT wire. This is due to the material being tougher than PVC insulated wire. And the GXL has slightly thicker insulation than TXL. This is just like what we talked about in our last video when comparing GXL and TXL. Next, when the environment subjects the wire to extreme conditions, a cross-linked wire is probably the better option. If a weight reduction has an important aspect, GXL and TXL wire would be the better option over GPT. GXL and TXL wire have a broader temperature rating on both ends of the spectrum at negative 51 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius versus GPT at negative 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. When soldering GXL and TXL wire, you won't get the insulation wick that you would get with GPT wire. When the insulation slowly melts away and exposes more and more copper wire, often when you're soldering GPT wire, it's as if you're simultaneously stripping and soldering the wire at the same time. Finally, when it comes to wanting to choose GPT wire over GXL and TXL wire, this would be a very rare occurrence. One example is chemical resistance. There may be some very unique scenario with an uncommon chemical that requires PVC over cross-link polyethylene wire for chemical resistance. Again, this would be a very rare occasion, but it can still happen. 
And there we have it! Before we go, I got the barn joke of the week for you. Are you ready? Why are cats so good at video games? They have nine lives. <laughs> Let me know if you laughed. Cause that was pretty funny. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you would like us to talk about in future videos. And last but not least, make sure to check out wirebarn.com for all your wiring needs. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.